All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, or Kakadash. All right, shalom, my brothers and sisters in this truth. I'm your brother, Mr. LJ, coming to you again with another lesson. Lord willing, this will be edifying to those of you who are tuning in. And today we're going to be coming from the book of Romans chapter 8, verse, uh, from starting from verse 1 to verse 30. Uh, but before we get into that, um, so today I'm going to go into this thing called false hope here in Great Babylon. Um, I was out there on the streets uh, in downtown uh, San Jose uh, testifying out there um, and... What I noticed, uh, there was quite a bit of people out there. Um, the camera didn't pick up the amount of people that was out there. They had a, a ballet show going on out there. The Moabites were putting on a ballet show across in the other uh, park area um, where the train tracks were, uh, that, that the trolley that goes through the city itself. You know, they were handing out stuff. Uh, they had musicians over there. I mean, there was, there was quite a, act, a bit of activities that was going on. Now, what I did notice is that somebody actually was keeping what looked to be church out there. Uh, with loudspeaker and everything. Um, but what they had next to them was uh, food, food and water and other little treats. And they had quite a bit of a line. And for those of you who watched my video, notice that uh, I had a couple of people that did show, that did walk by, uh, did come up to me, um, you know, inquire. And um, But what you see here that that's continuous in Babylon is that Jake... Uh, it's like what you see here in these, in these, 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 uh, chimpanzee, these monkey, these baboons right here, you know, uh, you know, when you, when they're fed, okay, because they're carnal, when they're fed or they're, they're given into that carnal spirit, you know, that the carnal spirit is fulfilled, you know, they follow that particular person. And this is one, re this is the reason why no matter how much you go out there, no matter how much videos you put out, no matter how, how much you speak to them, those the two third will just simply not get it. Because they are not part of it. And we're going to go into the book of Romans chapter 8 today and look and see why that happened. Okay, so let's start off with uh, verse 1. It said, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Yahweh, Mash Yahweh Shai Hamashiach had made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, Yahweh sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh. And we know that Yahweh Shai came down looking like us. He, he required food, water, air. Uh, he, he felt pain. He had emotions, everything. So he, 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 was, he came from his, his uh, glorious body into our body to experience exactly what we were going through. And that was, he was the ultimate sacrifice that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai made because he loved us, his, his chosen people, that much that he gave his only son to die uh, as we do. Okay? Continuing. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. And as you see here, now... All the brothers in this truth, and I'm going to say you sisters too, okay? What do we desire? We desire to to, to be close to Yahweh Shai. We desire to know more. This is the reason why brothers are, you know, you subscribe to multiple channels. You go from, you subscribe from the elders all the way down to the to the brother that might be putting up their first lesson, you know, today, you know? Because we learn and support each other. We learn from each other. Now, there, are, there are de there's definitely a ranking order. With beginning with the elders and apostles from Great Millstone all the way down to the listener, okay, or the believers, okay, who subscribe to this truth, okay? But what do we all desire? We all desire to be spiritually minded, to constantly walk in after the spirit, after the faith, okay, to be in this faith. We're not calmly minded here, as you can see in the opening clip here, okay? What did this harmite, okay, that, that, that fooled so many, including myself, okay, 
that we thought it was the first black president in the United States, man. You know, the ultimate achievement. Okay? And as we as we got, you know, into the spirit and understand the truth, and this truth was revealed to us by Yahweh Shai, what happened? You know, we found out this is a dog on nothing but a dog on Hamite, okay? And we can go talk about his damn wife if we want to, his so called wife, because we know what that is, okay? So we know this is a we know this we know that you know he's 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 what, what does he have here? Look at Jake. Look at look at the, look at this fat one here, with that with that rug with that uh, rug on her, on on her head or that mop on her head, okay? The Connell, okay? He's saying Happy Thanksgiving. They're not understanding, okay? They're you know celebrating this idolatry, okay? We are not to be celebrating Thanksgiving, Halloween, and on these things, okay? That that comes up in the, in the latter part of the year or any part of the year. Okay, but see, they pick these particular time, right? Because Jake wants to be a part of this. It's free food. I'm going to get my free food, you know, which is going to be pork, ham, and all of the other different abominable food that we're not supposed to eat. And as long as it's free, they're going to be coming in and thanking you. They think this is a, is a good thing. But this is how Esau has got all our people tricked. Okay, let's continue. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And we are at peace. I'm at peace. I'm at peace every day when I stand up. And I let Esau know, you are going to dug on die. You are a wicked, wicked, vile, evil, demented abomination that was created to die. You are going to be subjected to 1,000 years of slavery. And that brings peace to me. It, it brings my life up. My life is the best life I'm going through since I came into this truth. Okay? Because I know now what is going to happen to my enemy that I have always hated. And we're going to go into the scripture on that. Continuing. Because the carnal mind is enmity against Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, for it is not subject to the law of Yahweh, neither indeed can be. So then, they that are in flesh cannot please Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. If you are, you know, walking around here with these, these, uh, you know, so-called women, you know, and I, I know that we know that they're men, okay, with these doggone uh, weave on their head like that, handing out doggone pork and chitlins and all this other crap, you know, so that you can feed your fat ass, okay. Then of course you know you're gonna put your hope into them. So this is our, this is this is the lowest state that our people are in right now. This is this is the ultimate ceiling for them. All right. Oh my God, we get a we 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 have a black president that's giving us giving us food to us. You know, that's how simple our people are. All right. Continuing. So then that they are in the flesh cannot please Yahweh, but you ye. Are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if so be that the spirit of Yahweh dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Yahweh Shai, he is none of this, none of his. Salakia. And if Yahweh Shai be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. And if the spirit of him that raised up Yahweh Shai from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Yahweh Shai. From the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. And that is what we do. This is why we pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to preserve us, okay, to protect us from this wicked man, to give us the wisdom, okay. To understand all of his vile, secretive plots that he's coming against us. Okay, I put up a, a video uh, earlier today with these uh, microscopic uh, robots. Now they have that are going to be flying, and they can produce these things in the billions. And if you look at it, what do they use the term medical? It could be used for medical purposes, but they also use the fact that it's going to be spying on the population. Okay, so nothing that this man creates is for the good of anybody. It's for his own vile lust. For wickedness and blood of the children of Israel. Let's continue. Verse 14. For as many as led by the spirit of Yahweh, they are the sons of Yahweh. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh. Okay? So we can't look at somebody because they look like us. Do you think you could trust that Friggin' big air freaking nigga over there? That Hamai? No, you can't. Okay, he looks like you, right? But you can't trust him. His spirit is wicked. You, can you trust the ones walking through that line? Who trust in the Babylon? No. 
This spirit is this spirit is not is like our spirit. They trust into this doggone wickedness, man. As long as they can get their lust fed, which is eating all that food, because you know how people love to eat. And they're being fed that abominable food, okay? So their spirit is not going to be a spirit that is going to dwell with, who's going to be dwelling with Yahawashai or one that we are going to look at and go, okay, that, that's, uh, that's a person that's, you know, part of the hopefully lack. Okay? Continuing. And if children, then heirs, heirs of Yahweh and joint heirs with Yahawashai, if so be that we suffer with him, that we also may be glorified together. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed to us. So yeah, we're going to suffer, okay? We're going to suffer humiliation. People laughing at us, scoffing at us, saying you're nobodies. So what? We're going to be glorified and we're going to be kings, okay? Ruling over you with might and power, okay? For 1,000 years, especially you Edomite, who are going to be in the worst kind of slavery that you cannot even begin to imagine, okay? But you will experience it. You will die or you will resurrect again and come back for it. In a thousand years, you will go through the most hellish slavery that you could ever begin to imagine. All right? Think of a horror movie times 20,000. All right? Continuing. For, the, for I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of Yahweh. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who has subject the same in hope, because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of Yahweh. For we know that the whole creation groan it and trail it, travail it in pain together until now. And not only they, but also but ourselves also, which have the first fruit of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit. The redemption of our body. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why does he yet hope for? So if you can see the hope, someone feeding you chitlins and they feed you cookies and you know, water at the park, you know, or they feed you, you know, you know, thanks so called Thanksgiving food, you know. They coming down from their power seat, you know, in the White House and they are handing you, you know, cookies and, and, and pig skin, you know then you have the hope in that, that they love you because you've never seen your house shy before, okay? So you don't have any hope in what you cannot see. And that is the carnalness of our people, all right? Because they only give to what they can see. Everything is, everything is visual. If you look like me, then we are alike, okay? Then we are alike. If you help me, you know, then, 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 then we must be cool, all right? Continuing. And not only they, but ourselves also, which are the first fruit of the Spirit, even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit, the redemption of our body. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man see it, why do he hope for? But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it? Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself make it intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he make it intercession with the saints according to the will of Yahweh. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love Yahweh, to them who are called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. And let's take a look at the word predestinated means to foreign to an earthly or eternal lot or destiny by divine decree. So the hopefully elect has been predestined. Okay? Predestined to get the truth, predestined to not fall victim to Esau and his deception, predestined not to be walking in line there with a, with a, with a, with a Hamite pretending to be one of you, okay? We're not blinded by that. We're not blinded by, you know, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with his big fucking lips, you know, trying to, trying to, trying to go, oh, we should mandate that everybody, you know, follow the mandate in the NBA. Who gives a flying shit? I don't even watch fucking uh, uh, basketball anyways like that. 
but here you get a seven foot, seven foot six simp, just a seven foot six. Uh, why don't that nigga just die, man? Seriously, he is absolutely useless. Just come back, go to the spirit world, and then come back as what you really should be. All right. Lord willing, you are edified with this here. This video is actually part, uh, part one of a second part of this video, which is going to focus more on the, this, this hope that Jake has in this society and what this is going to lead to in the setup that Esau has been doing. And this is also a snare from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for Jake in this society, okay? And yeah, you, you guess it, uh, those uh, monkeys are going to be staring in that next video that I'm going to be putting up there. So stay tuned for it, okay? So Lord willing, you are edified. Uh, and stay tuned for part two. Okay, I'd like to close up by giving all glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakal Kadash. Double honors to the teachers and elders and brothers from Great Millstone. Uh, to you brothers or that are putting on this truth daily, and to you brothers and sisters that are tuning in. Shalom.